Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. We're going to have a bit of a different video this week. Um, got to be honest, I'm in a bit of a funk. I've kind of had enough of aquariums. They're meant to be helping my mental health and they're just doing my head in at the moment. Uh, maybe that's not fair. Maybe it's, it's not so much the aquariums. It's the lack of progress. A few things are going on. I thought I'd just, you know, problem shared is a problem halved or so they say. Everything's just not working out at the moment so I thought I'd take you around, show you what's going on, talk about some of the plans that I had that just aren't working, uh, show you some of the problems because you know all YouTube's full of people with everything with pristine tanks and everything going perfectly so I'll show you that that's just not the case. Hopefully if you're in a bit of a funk with your aquarium ever you can see this video and I hope it'll pass. Uh, as we go on to bigger and more exciting things, but this is just the reality. Aquariums need maintenance. Plans don't always work out. So join me, I'll show you what's going on, what's not working. Things happen, things need attention, things break, things don't work. Let's have a look. So, as you can see, some lovely spots of cyanobacteria down here. So this is something that used to be called, or sometimes still is called, blue-green algae. It's not really algae, it's a bacteria. It's quite common on new tanks, it's quite common where there's some arguments about what causes it, but it's either too much light, too many nutrients in the water, or a combination of all the above. I think it's a few things uh, causing this particular problem, one of them being that thing. That's my Felix Smart, which is it's not being very smart at the moment. It keeps resetting, breaking, leaving the lights on constantly, so there has been an over um, overuse of light on this aquarium. But I think there's also quite a high level of phosphates in the water as well, so I need to do that. And I haven't been doing as many water changes on this tank as I should do. We'll come on to that in a bit. Um, but it just needs needs addressing. Just as unsightly, it's ugly. Um, there are products out there which will deal with this and will get rid of it, but it really just needs more water changes. So what I would do normally would be get in there with my trusty tweezers <laughs> and basically pick it out um, it usually clumps together in a nice little sheet like so and you can just take it out so I just need to spend some time on it and get rid of it all lovely that's that tank it just needs a bit of effort a bit of maintenance but you know when you just can't be bothered you're not feeling it it's, it's difficult to get started with these things um, but more than that, I've, I've done my shoulder and my rotator cuff is well, it's knackered basically and it's stopping me doing lots of things. I can't lift anything properly. Um, just I guess it's getting in the way of everything. It is a bit of an excuse because I do have two arms and the other one kind of works. But everything's so much more difficult and just makes you not want to start. So pull the finger out and get that done and we'll get that sorted. Um, but you know, it's just... It makes everything more difficult. So we'll go downstairs, we'll have a look in the fish room, show you the lack of progress there as well. Before we do that, this is the kind of back garden, side garden type area. This is probably going to be the location for the pond, we're thinking. So we've got some plans to get started there. Again, it's hard to get started in the plans when you're feeling a bit meh. Um, but hopefully what we're thinking about having is some kind of summer house slash filter house there. Pond and patio here. And I don't know if it comes across well on camera, but it kind of drops down there. It's just a bit overwhelming, <laughs> which makes it hard to get started off even drawing out the plans. So I'm thinking about getting the drone up so as I can have a proper look at the, the layout of all this. Obviously it's going to involve a digger, which will be excellent. Um, and we'll get some plans drawn up of what layout we want with the pond. I really want a pond with a window, um, but it has to be nice because the idea is that the wife and I and the kids and everyone, we sit out here of an evening and look over Sheffield and enjoy the views. So we kind of want this to be the bit where we sit. I don't know if we have the pond down a level because there's quite a steep slope there. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those uh, where do we start type jobs. Uh, and then we come on to the fish room, so let's have a look at that. So I think the last update I did in here was obviously building this wall. This is my garage, the fish room is behind this wall. 
So I built a wall here and going down there, plastered it. I'm a terrible plasterer. That's one thing we found out. Um, but as I was plastering, that's when I did, did my shoulder in. So I actually did both of them in, but this one's the worst. So I can still move this one around a little bit, but it's still quite painful. So we're just going to live with the terrible plastering job because it is a carriage after all. Um, so we've got a few things hung up and started to organize it, but blah. But if we swing you around here, here you can see the point at which we gave up plastering because that's where I hurt myself. So it was at this point I finally had to give in and admit defeat. So I started up here and it was just getting too painful to continue. So I had to stop. And then the next day it was just absolute agony. So I've not been able to pick back up again. So if you take a closer look, you'll see that we did manage to get some of it done at the top. And then, yeah, I've just had to leave it like that. And I've not had a chance to come back in and finish it or not been able to. So hopefully I'm on the mend a little bit and we can get something done. So that's as far as I've been able to get, but I'd pay someone to come in and finish it off, but I'm just too embarrassed because I've done such a bad job at plastering. Um, I haven't done anything at all back here, still just as it was. And then of course, nothing else has been done in here either. It's just, that's depressing a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, it's not the most upbeat of videos here. There you go, look at Humphrey, he's still looking fine and dandy and very happy. So we've just not really had much chance to do anything in here. Um, it's the thing with aquariums and all this racking and all that kind of stuff. Everything's bloody heavy, so I can't do any of it. So we've very much just been maintaining everything with the minimum of effort that I can get away with. Thankfully, we've not really had any problems. The discus are all fine. Humphrey's fine. We've still got the angels. We've still got all the, uh, the guppies. I've got rid of most of my bristlenose plecos. Um, but yeah, it's just a holding pattern. I don't really want this rack here or this rack here. Um, I don't know why I'm holding that. I want my six foot racks here. This is the five and the four foot. And then one of them down there and one of them on this wall. And then behind the camera here is where I want to build Mega Pond. I'll swing you around. So the idea is that this is a 12 foot gap. So I've been torn between putting the two six foot racks here and having Mega Pond that side. Mega Pond, by the way, is just a, a working title. It's not really going to be called that. Um, but I want to build one big pond. I think I do anyway. Um, but again, can't bloody move the shoulder, can't do any of the work. <laughs> just not happening but we'll get there it's, we will come back to this one day and I'll be happy about it and um, so originally I thought about putting the six foot racks at this side but they're like six foot and one inch so they don't quite fit or I don't think they'll fit once the plasters on this wall um, and there's a little bit of a ledge on that side which will I think it makes it like 11 foot 11 inches or something span so you know yay great so we'll probably have um, mega pond there because that can be custom built or it will be custom built so it'll go to whatever size it wants it's slightly more open this side so i can get the two six foot racks there maybe have a four foot one here and the five foot one there making up the other wall if you like and um, but yeah not done any of it obviously because everything's temporary i don't really have my auto water chain system set up yet all these plans and projects that I was rearing to go on before I moved house, just not had a chance to get started properly on any of them. And I mean, everything's doing okay, but it's just, I'm not where I would like to be, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But everything's fine, we can give the discus a feed. They're looking fat and happy. Feeding them some absolute discus. Um, that's a dry pellet that I quite like these days. And doing quite well. Uh, Humphrey's still getting his special mix of all kinds of things. So thankfully the fish are okay. But yeah, they're just not where I want them to be. Um, the discus again is another thing. I don't want them in the fish room. I want them in the, the house. But obviously we broke the big fish tank. So we can't do that. So let's go and have a look at that. And then here is the big discus display aquarium. Or it should be. At the moment it's just the big eyesore and um, smashed the bottom of this tank if you haven't seen that video so I need to replace this tank or fix it 
the big plan again was I was going to move this into the fish room, go on one of the racks, have a nice big tank in the fish room and then get a new tank but a little bit taller so I could reuse all the plinth and everything. But one of the things we have to do in this new house is replace this floor so I was kind of waiting until we got all that sorted before I did that but then it's a case of waiting for all the tradesmen to get lined up to do all the various things that need to get done to get the floor sorted and then we can get going with that but at the moment it's just a bit of a mess. So I've reshot all these bits multiple times because I'm aware that I'm just putting a proper downer on this video and that's not really what I want but this is a hobby for me that's meant to be helping me keep my sanity and preserve my mental health but at the moment it's just kind of doing my head in a little bit. I know I'll get out of this funk uh, but I thought you know this happens I'll make this video hopefully it can tell people if, if you're having the same sort of things going on where nothing's quite clicking just keep going, it'll get there eventually. I know it'll get there. It's just that I've spent the past few weeks doing literally nothing. And it, sometimes it can get to you a little bit. So I hope that it's going to pass. I'm sure it will. I'm sure I'll look back in this video in a few months time and think, ah, what was I worried about? But you know, it's not all sweetness and light. Um, a lot of YouTube videos always present perfection and you see these pristine tanks all the time. And it's just not reality. So reality is sometimes Things go downhill for a little while, um, even if it's nothing to do with, most of this is because I've hurt my shoulder so I can't do too much. But sometimes you just don't feel like doing things and I think you need to give yourself a break. It happens. Um, things get in the way, life gets in the road. Push on through and we'll be out the other side in no time, hopefully. So I hope this hasn't been too much of a downer. Um, you know, come join me on a Friday night. We do Friday night live streams. Come cheer me up a little bit and hopefully things will be better soon. See you in a bit.